Personally, I never would have bought the old Chevy Bolt. I know it was good value, no doubt about it. And I know a lot of people did because it was good value. But I just didn't like the looks. I thought it looked budget. I thought it looked weird. It, it, it was a car where it, it, I just wouldn't have purchased it. The new Chevy Bolt? Well, to be honest, I haven't seen the full car yet. But I've seen a bit of the front, a bit of the back. But whatever the case may be, I think this is going to look fantastic based on these images we have so far. And there's one really good feature that the old Bolt didn't have that the new one is going to get. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to see you. The Chevy Bolt. Um, I think uh, this new one looks pretty good. General Motors has shown some photos of it. Um, one photo of the front, one photo of the rear, a photo of the side. The photos, I think, show a car that's going to be good looking car. I think they've done a, a good job. I mean, I, I can't see the whole car, but from what I can see, it's a huge upgrade over the old version. So basically General Motors canceled the previous model, even though it was selling extremely well. And they decided that um, they'd bring this new version out, but it was, you know, eventually they went, well, actually people like the Bolt. Let's make a new version. General Motors said this, this is the new one. They said, you asked, we listened. And um, considering it's got a NAX, a Tesla charging port connector, I think that's a really good feature to have. The Chevy Bolt, I get, I know people know this is coming. There's a new version coming and apparently it's going to be out next year. But um, this is all we know so far about that car. It's going to be extremely affordable. Apparently it's going to be about $30,000 to $35,000. Uh, possibly just under $30,000 for the base model, which would be really, really good. Uh, it's not going to be a hatchback anymore. The previous version was more hatchbacky. This version will be, looks a bit more like an SUV, like a small SUV. Is that a good thing? Probably not. I mean, the lower your EV is, the more efficient it's going to be. So having it jacked up a little bit to make it look more crossovery is not really a benefit for most owners. But here's the thing. We do know this news. It's going to get a lithium ion phosphate battery. That's going to help reduce the price. Those batteries, I believe, are going to be made by General Motors in their factory in the United States under license from CATL. So there'll be CATL lithium ion phosphate batteries, meaning they're going to be good batteries. There's certainly no issues with Cato's LFP batteries. And I think that's going to help General Motors get the price down. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if General Motors use their new are uh, lithium manganese rich batteries. They're called LMR batteries, which they say will be even cheaper than lithium ion phosphate and provide much higher energy density. I mean, if they did that and put a say 60 kilowatt hour battery pack in this, you might be looking at more than 350 miles of range for a very affordable car. That would be massive. Here's what GM said. It's going to be at a similar price point versus the old one going out, which is very low. That's what GM's president, Mark Royce, said at the Detroit launch of the Silverado EV and then Equinox EV. We're going to deliver it at a profitable point. So GM is saying, we're going to make money. We're going to sell these for around 30,000 US dollars. It's going to be bigger than the previous version and much better. This, If this is true, I mean, it's sort of hard to believe if they can make a profit selling it at this price, from what looks like what would be a really good vehicle. But if it is true, I hope they can, then this will be a massive sales winner for General Motors. I think it will easily outsell the previous Chevy Bolt. And having that access to Tesla superchargers, I know a lot of people don't like Tesla, but still, you're going on a road trip, that's the best, that's the best supercharger network to use. It's just the easiest. That's a big benefit for people in the future. So guys, what do you think about the new Chevy Bolt? Is this the kind of car you'd consider buying? Do you think it looks better than the old version, these photos we've got? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye. General Motors, right? They just lost a hell of a lot of money. After writing down the value of their business in China, last, well, the fourth quarter of last year and losing five, well, more than $5 billion as a result, General Motors has now reported a massive profit loss it claims is thanks to Donald Trump, $1.1 billion. So General Motors is literally hemorrhaging cash right now. They have just canceled their hydrogen factory, hydrogen fuel cells. It was meant to provide fuel cells for, I don't know, who knows what, some sort of imaginary hydrogen powered future. 
That's been cancelled, fortunately. But GM did commit $900 million to new V8 engines. It says, though, it's going to save a lot of money with these new batteries, apparently. That'll help it to claw back some of the losses it's been making. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. I want to say thank you to our YouTube members. If you'd like to become a member, I'll put a link in the description below. General Motors said on Tuesday it plans to continue the development work for low-cost electric vehicle batteries in the United States. It's really trying to compete against China. That's the big challenge here. Although GM are competing against China, but they're going to use lithium-ion phosphate batteries from China. They're going to make them themselves using Chinese technology. But that'll be the cheapest batteries GM will have. However, GM says that um, after its profits plunged 32% in the second quarter of this year, it says mainly due to Trump administration tariffs. I'm not sure if that's actually true, though. $1.1 billion. It says that really... It's new batteries, these lithium manganese rich batteries, LMR batteries, will save the company essentially. Driven by its reduced nickel and cobalt content in large truck packs, we believe that potential savings on LMR are even greater than using lithium ion phosphate at today's prices, metal prices, said GM CEO Mary Barrett during the second quarter earnings call on Tuesday. I find that really hard to believe that it's cheaper for General Motors to use LMR batteries instead of LFP. I mean, are they saying it's based on today's manganese prices? I was curious to know about this because I mean, General Motors saying LMR batteries, right, would be cheaper than lithium ion phosphate. I find that hard to believe. So did a little bit of research, breakdown on the latest available data around actual manganese ore uh, it's generally up a little bit or slightly stable. Several sources indicate small positive increases, as in negative, because it's going up in price by a little bit. One report from April 2025 indicates that man manganese ore market was experiencing significant price declines. All major ore types and port regions, the price has gone down by up to 4% showing a downward trend in play. Medium-term data shows negative price changes, so the price appears to be going down. So General Motors is saying, based on today's price of manganese, they think they can make lithium manganese-rich batteries cheaper than lithium ion phosphate. Now, if that is actually accurate, and I find that hard to believe, as I said, if that is accurate, though, that's huge because these lithium manganese-rich batteries have a much, much, much higher energy density I'm estimating about 270 watt hours per kilogram, probably up to 280 watt hours per kilogram. At around that level, that's probably about 30% more energy dense than lithium ion phosphate batteries that are about 190 watt hours per kilogram.